everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I thought that it would be fun to share with you all some of the books that I'm hoping to read in the next couple of months in a sort of spring TBR. I normally don't do TBR videos on my channel, that's because I'm very much of like a mood reader and I don't want to be like stuck to a specific TBR. I really just like to go to my bookshelves and just like literally pick something random that I'm interested in in that exact moment and I really like doing that so that's why I don't really do like monthly TBR. But I still have a couple of books that are on my radar at least for the next couple of months so I thought that that would be fun to share with you all. Well and for this video I'm mostly going to be talking about like my physical TBR. I do read a ton of audiobooks but that is even more so that I just literally pick a random audiobook that I am feeling at the moment. Also I sometimes have to wait for audiobooks to really come in at my library etc. So I can't really plan what audiobooks I'm going to be listening to so these are mostly just going to be on my physical TBR but I will be reading a bunch of audiobooks as well. Yeah I guess I'll start with what I'm currently reading because obviously Obviously I am going to want to read these books this spring because I'm currently reading them, you know? Um, the first one I have is an adult romance novel which is one of my most anticipated books of 2021 and that was Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I am about 188 pages through this book and so far I'm kind of having mixed feelings about it which is a little bit unfortunate. So this basically follows a girl named Grace and she has her entire life planned out. She has just gotten her PhD in astronomy in order to kind of get back at her father but now she doesn't really know what to do with her life and so she kind of freaks out gets super drunk, goes to Vegas, and marries this random girl, and her life kind of falls apart from there as she really tries to figure out, like, what she wants to do in life, you know, whether her years and years of schooling were really right for her. All the while in the background is this kind of romance that is blossoming between these two. And like I said, so far I'm kind of having mixed feelings about it. I'm hoping that it gets better in the last like 100 pages or so. Um, overall, I just, the writing is not really meshing with me. Yeah, the writing is just a little bit odd for me. Like I think the diversity in this book is fantastic and I love it. And there's a lot of things that I do enjoy about it, but I feel like that, like the writing is just kind of taking away from my enjoyment right now but all that being said I do hope that it picks up and I'll be talking about this more in my March wrap-up because I'm sure I'm going to be finishing it very soon um but yeah this is the first one next up is a book that I started at the very beginning of March but I have been dragging my feet and like not reading it like I should and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sava Tahir I've already read this book twice so this is my third reread of this book so that I can finally finish this series because it's a series that I have the first three books on my shelves right now and I really just want to finish it because I know this is a lot of people's like favorite it's inspired by Rome and it basically follows these two perspectives. Um, one is Elias who is like training to be like this elite soldier um, for the Empire and that also follows um, Laia I think or Leia who basically joins the resistance to try to overthrow this Empire etc. You kind of get this like book is super angsty you know. We got like this forbidden romance aspect to it. I remember really enjoying this the um, two times that I had read it previously but for some reason I'm just dragging my feet over it right now but I am hoping to finish this one and also read also read A Torch Against the Night at some point um, like I said because I just really want to finish this series and you know experience it like everyone else is right now uh, but yeah so next I have these two and breaking my audiobook rule just a little bit because I am currently listening to an audiobook that was another one of my most anticipated books of 2021 and then it's Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. In this book, I'm only like two hours into it, but it's already such a joy. If you don't know, this is the third book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. It's another adult romance and it follows the younger sister, Eve. And she is 26 and she hasn't really like made a lot out of her life. She hasn't really committed to anything yet. And so her parents, basically they tell her, you have to go get a job. Like we're kicking you out of the house. You have to go get a job. And so she ends up going to this bed and breakfast where she meets this guy. And it's like this grumpy sunshine romance. And I I'm just loving how it's going so far. This is definitely like a perfect springtime read as well because it's just so much fun. Highly recommend The Brown Sisters. I will always praise this series because it is just so good. So those are all the books that I'm currently reading. Now getting into some of the books that I'm hoping to start at least in the next couple of months. The first one is a book that I have had on my radar for a while. I just haven't like committed to picking it up and that is The Silence of Bones by June Her. Um, this is actually an arc that my friend sent to me um, and it has like this sticker that I haven't gotten off of it yet. I ignore that. It's fine. And all I know about this one is that it takes place in 1800 Busan, Korea. So it's like a historical fiction type thing and I heard that it reads like a K-drama like, or like a historical K-drama and I'm just so ready for it and it just sounds so interesting. So yeah, hoping to start this soon because I need more Korean books in my life to be honest. Next up I have The Birth 
Burning God by R.F. Kuang. I really want to finish this series out. This is the third book in the Poppy War series and if he, I've been talking about this series for so long on my channel, or not so long, for like the last couple of months. Uh, basically the first book follows Rin and she goes, she studies really hard and goes to this military academy and but then war breaks out and the second book really follows the war and this I think is also going to follow the war but I'm really interested to see where this goes um, because where the last book left off, like I'm really curious. I got the pretty hard cover edition of this one this time. I just love these covers so much. I think they're so gorgeous. Anyway, so hoping to finish this soon so that I can finish out the series. And, uh, have my heart ripped out of my chest is basically the common consensus when it comes to this book, I feel like. So ex excited for that. <laughs> Next, I have another uh, reread and continuation of a series. And I really want to reread The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin and then also move on to The Obelisk Gate because I read The Fifth Season not too long ago, like a couple of months ago. But I read it in a time that I was just not having it. Like I was super busy with school and I, I would only read a chapter at a time. And for me, really, if I, especially for fans, fantasy books if I don't read them kind of all in one go or like fairly quickly I really fall out of love for the story and the characters and I still give this one four stars but I feel like I just know that it's like worth five stars for me and also I just forgot absolutely everything like I retained zero percent of this book so I really want to continue on with the series with the obelisk gate so I feel like I have to give this one a reread one because I forgot everything and two just to give it sort of more of my intention because I do think that it deserves that love I didn't say at all with these books are about because they're honestly super super confusing. This one follows basically three different perspectives and it's in this world where people can basically create seismic events or they can like create earthquakes and um, basically when a big seismic event happens it's like the end of the world and so this story really follows like the lead up to the end of the world. It's like the best way that I can describe it and it's not very good. You really just have to like pick it up and experience it for yourself. I feel like that's the best way to go into it. Um, but yeah. And next up, this is a book that I put on like my end of 2020 TBR and I still haven't gotten to it and it hurts my heart. And that is A Song of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. Again, this has been on my radar since last summer and I've heard fantastic things about it. I don't know why I haven't picked it up. I think because I just want to give it that attention that it really deserves. Um, I know that this is an African or West African inspired fantasy. Um, I kind of forget exactly what it's about, but I know that it follows like two different characters and one, like they have to like both kill each other in order to get what they want or something like that but then they like there's like a romance I think that happens and so it's this really angsty like I'm supposed to kill you but I actually might like you kind of thing going on. I'm uh, not entirely sure but that's at least what I retain from the summary. But like I said I've heard fantastic things about this book and I'm sure that I'm going to really enjoy it. So yeah I'm excited to get to this whenever my schedule allows. Next I have a book that's actually at my dorm so I don't have it physically with me but the reason why it's at my dorm is because I'm really hoping to read it like in the next couple of books and that is um, Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Morena Garcia who is the same author of Mexican Gothic. This I know I think is a Mexican inspired fantasy that takes place in Mexico City and I think it follows this girl who accidentally opens this box that contains a god or something and then the god follows her or something like that. She releases a god into the world is um what I have gathered in the summary so far. So this one sounds really interesting too. Um, I'm really liking all these diverse fantasies that I'm reading lately because they just, uh, they're just so rich in things that I have, you know, not really been exposed to very much. So yeah, I'm excited to get to this one as well. Oh, and I just have one more book to talk to you guys about. This is kind of a quick video, which is really shocking for me. The last book that I have is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a fantasy romance novel that I heard a lot of people talking about last year and even this year. I know the third book's about to come out. All I know is I think it follows this maiden called Poppy and she's not allowed to be touched or even looked upon and so this guard, whatever his name is, guard named Hawk I think is assigned to protect her or guard her or something and I think it's their romance together and I've heard that this is like very steamy, very smutty. So I'm excited to see what I think about it. Um, I recently finished, oh you can't see, I recently finished A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass, and so I'm kind of in a fantasy romance mood so maybe I will start this one soon but it's a little bit intimidating because it is really big um so yeah excited to get to this one uh, whenever I have the time to devour like a 
turns it like a 600 page fantasy romance. Okay, so those are all the books that I'm hoping to read this spring. Um, I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Let me know down below what books you are hoping to read this spring. Again, I know that I don't really do TBR videos, but I thought this would be fun. Also, in the nature spring, uh, if you would leave a flower emoji of any type down in the um, comments below, I would really appreciate it if you've made it this far in the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and yeah, I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, all that jazz, and I'll see you later in another video very soon. Bye!